Hi there, everybody. How have you guys been doing? I hope everyone is doing well out there and had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm going to guess that you guys are also getting ready for Christmas, just like is happening around here. But I did want to take a minute and show you guys how I run my bedding in the winter. Cold and dreary is the name of the game here in Indiana this time of year. We already had one casualty last week. We had just a little bit of ice, it wasn't a lot, but lost the middle out of our big maple tree. That's just what remains. Steve has already hauled most of it out and got it over to the burn barrel. So winter time means these guys need a little extra care. And I already showed you how we put plastic around the run that doesn't look pretty, but it sure blocks the wind and makes it easier for them. Another thing that happens here frequently is frostbite. And for all the years that I've had these chickens, I have battled with it. And it seems like no matter what I try, we always end up with a little bit of frostbite. shavings. It was always a disaster. So let's see what I'm doing now. Well, I'm still doing shavings, but it's not as much because I find that they're just getting wet. It could be because water is coming in through the bottom of that door. There's a little bit of an air space, even though there's a screen door. I suspect it's coming from this waterer even though I know that is level, but I see water sometimes around there. I also think that sometimes it comes in through the baffling up there. That's pretty much closed, but I think moisture comes in because I see a lot back there in the back. So what I've been doing is putting in about two big bags of shavings and going until they start to stink. That can be anywhere from, it's usually around three weeks in the deep cold winter. Then in my very simple world, when that stuff starts to stink or gets wet, I just roll it right on out the pop doors, bring it out into the run, which you may remember I put a bunch of leaves down. So there's already stuff out here. And this just adds to it. So after my chickens dig through all that bedding, and it also works as a nice snow cover too in the run, I can dump it on my pile and in a couple years I have beautiful compost. Now just because the deep litter method did not work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. I still think it was a lot of things I was doing wrong but it, it just wasn't working out. And in the same token just because this works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you either. So we all need to do what works out best for us and our chickens but that said this has worked out really well for us. And the cost is just about the same because it used to be I was adding, you know, about two bags a month when I was doing the deep litter. And this way I'm still doing about two bags a month. I'm just emptying it out every time, which is actually a lot easier to do. So if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel yet, please do um, hit the notification little bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I will catch you guys the next time. Thanks so much for watching. Look how good she looks. I have the chickens out today and she acts like she's just sitting there guarding the chickens. What she's really doing is waiting so she can go eat the food.